Hello, my name's Hannah and I'm a storyteller. And I'd like to tell you a story that comes from Brazil. It's called How Beetles Got Their Gorgeous Coats. And it goes like this. In the forest in Brazil lived lots and lots of animals. Animals in all shapes and sizes. One of the smallest animals was Rat. But Rat thought he was very important indeed. Rat would often admire himself. Oh, look at me. I'm so pretty. I've got this lovely grey fur coat, so sleek and shiny. And then there's my long pink tail and my shiny black round eyes. But best of all, I think, best of all, are my teeth, my two front teeth, because when I smile, I've got such a wonderful smile. But that wasn't all. Rat thought he was the best at everything. I can run faster than any other animal. I can climb higher than any other animal. I can even jump further than any other animal. Gosh, Rat really did like boasting. Beetle, the little beetle, was completely the opposite to Rat. I mean, Beetle was also small. Smaller than the palm of your hand. But Beetle was gentle and quiet and would just crawl around on the forest floor minding her own business. Even though Beetle never bothered anyone, she would quite often bump into Rat. One day when Beetle was just crawling up a tree trunk, along came Rat. Oh Beetle, hello Beetle, you need to copy me. If you copied me you'd be able to climb higher and higher and higher and much much faster. Come on Beetle, copy me. The next day, Beetle was just walking along the path in the forest and Rat came running past. Oh, Beetle, come on, run like me, copy me, run like me and you'll be able to run really, really fast. And the next day, Rat was just sitting admiring his fur coat when Beetle walked along. Oh, Beetle, you know what, if you had a fur coat like mine, you would be so much prettier. Well, Beetle didn't know what to say, so she just walked on. Up in the tree, very near the top of the tree, was Parrot. Parrot liked to watch what was going on, and she didn't miss a trick. No one had noticed Parrot that day, even though Parrot has bright red and yellow feathers and is a beautiful striking bird. Well, Parrot was having a think about Rat. What are we going to do about Rat? Rat seems to think he's the prettiest animal out of all the animals. And Rat seems to think he's the fastest animal. Hmm. And Rat seems to think he's the prettiest animal. What can I do about Rat? Hmm. And then Parrot had an idea. She called over Rat and Beetle and said, Rat, I've noticed that you can run really fast and that you can jump really high and that you can climb even higher. I think it would be good for you to have a race with Beetle. You could just race from the small tree over the other side of the path here to the palm tree. Well, Rat was already excited. He was thinking, I know, I know the fastest route. All I need to do is run down the path, climb up the big tree, swing across to the other big tree, jump down, run along the rest of the path to the palm tree. It's easy. I know I'll win. Beetle was also excited and she smiled and said, oh, that sounds like fun. Well, Rat couldn't help himself. What 
was the prize? Is there a prize? You see, Rat was sure he would win the race. Parrot thought for a moment. Hmm. The winner can have a bright new coat made by the tailor bird. Well, the tailor bird made all the bird's coats in the forest. All the wonderful bright colours you can think of. Well, tailor bird took feathers in those colours and weaved them into the most wonderful coats. Rat was absolutely delighted. Mm. I've always thought I'd look rather nice in a blue fur coat with black stripes. Hmm. Beetle was also thinking, I'd like a shiny coat, said Beetle. Right then, said Parrot, it's all agreed. The race will take place on Saturday. All that week, Rat practised. He ran and ran and ran as fast as he could. He climbed and climbed and climbed as high as he could. He jumped and jumped and jumped as fast as he could. Saturday finally arrived. So, Rat and Beetle, said Parrot, you will start here at the small tree and race all the way to the palm tree. And whoever wins will win a new coat. Are you both ready? Off you go. Well, Rat didn't waste a moment. Rat ran off as fast as he could down the track. And then he stopped because he realised he really didn't need to hurry. And he looked behind him. Beetle was nowhere to be seen. So Rat had a rest. A little while later, Rat climbed up the rope all the way to the top. And then Rat looked down, but Beetle was nowhere to be seen. So Rat had a rest. Rat swung across to the big tree. And then he looked down. Beetle was nowhere to be seen. So Rat had a rest. Finally, Rat jumped down from the big tree and ran along the track as fast as he could and arrived at the palm tree. Rat couldn't believe his eyes. Sitting at the top of the palm tree was Parrot and Beetle. How did you get here so fast? asked Rat. Beetle very shyly opened out her tiny wings. Nobody said we had to run or climb or jump. So I flew here on my wings. Rat, shall I show you how to fly? For once, Rat was quiet. Parrot smiled. Beetle, you're the winner. What would you like for your new coat? Well, Beetle had to look around and she noticed the palm trees were green and gold and she noticed some of the fruit, the mangoes, were green and gold and that gave her an idea. I'd like a shiny green and gold coat please. So that's how beetles got their gorgeous coats. If you find a little beetle, look closely at their coat. It's shiny and black but if you look even closer you'll see little flecks of green and gold. And that's the end of the story. Thank you.